Uh, both keep in seven. I'm on the play. Uh, I will go ahead and play a Cavern Souls on Merfolk. Yep. Tap it for a blue and play a Benthic Biomancer. All right. Yeah, pass turn. Oh man, it just keeps getting better and better. I got 18. Yeah. And then I will play a Snarling Gorehound. Okay. Menace. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under my control, I can surveil one. Your turn. Insidious Roots. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a Island. Tap uh, Cavern for green, and I'll play a Deep Ruli. This one that puts uh, one one counters yep. on other things. One of our yep. Okay. Um. Pass turn. You don't want to trade with my one one. I mean, at least I should draw one first. <laughs> Then that way, I come out ahead. I'm going to send this guy on an adventure. Go ahead. Yeah. Drop a card and lose life. Seventeen. And then I will also not do anything with my attacker slash blocker. Go ahead. Sounds good. On time. Draw. Tap for a green on the cavern, and we're gonna play another deep root elite. Okay. Trigger on this deep, deep root elite to play a one one counter. Oops, sorry, a one one counter here. Uh -huh. Triggering his uh, draw card discard, so I will draw. I'm gonna discard a forensic researcher. Okay. Uh, and then I will play a mm -hmm. breeding pool tapped as land for turn. And we'll go to combat and swing two. Other creatures have ward one. So, ward one. so he does not have ward one. Right now. Yeah, so you can rift. Right. And then I'll pass the turn. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll take three. I'll play this Blooming Marsh. And go ahead. Yeah, the, the Vanguard gives everybody plus one, plus oh, and ward one. Okay. Other creatures, not himself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to. Hmm. What do I need to do? Oh, what cards? So you can do this or the back side. I'm going to play a Moss Pit Skeleton and trigger here. Yeah. Uh, is that. No, it's not. It's okay. It's like, no. Uh, so. Whenever one or more encounters are put on a creature you control. Yes. Graveyard. Okay. Then you surveil one. Yep. We'll move to combat. Swing for four, five, six, seven. Uh. Interesting. I will put that in the graveyard, though. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. All right. We'll untap. I will draw. I will go ahead and I will pay a. Go ahead. Mm, play Bark Channel Pathway. Excellent. Nice land for turn. Bark Channeler. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pay two. Mm -hmm. And we'll play a Smuggler's Copter. Okay. Uh, and then we will pay a Simic, green with the cavern, for a Cure's Follower. Yeah. And that will go ahead and double trigger, and we will place one on. It is complicated. More complicated than, you know. We'll place one each here. Does anybody know we're playing a basketball uh, game tomorrow? And then... Yes. Uh, Zach has a game at 2 o'clock. Same place? Same place. So okay. We will be there. Don't wipe yeah, I'll have uh, Ashley send you guys a text in the morning to remind you. But okay. Cool. Right. Pass we'll have a good night. This deck is working perfectly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And Golgari, you can do some scary things. Yes. And they're both one threes. 
<laughs> I'm not sure there's going to be one, but you could. I mean, I think this is going to be a scary thing, but it's uh, not the scary thing you thought it was going to be. Oh, I don't expect it to be a children or a vein ripper. Oh, okay. We're not vein rippers. We'll play, play Insidious yeah. Rats oh, and Insidious Rats. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then I will pass the turn. All right. I will untap. Mm -hmm. I will draw a turn. I will go ahead and... Let's move to combat. Crew my smuggler's copter eight, with my nine, uh, deep root elite. Yes. Making him a creature. We'll go to combat mm -hmm. and we will swing with the smuggler's copter. I will draw a card and I, I draw, then discard. Yep. Draw. We will discard a smuggler's copter. Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> Help. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, block, sorry. It's fine, right? Yeah. So, no blocks. Yeah. Every time. Every time. At least the first one. Yeah, the second one. I'll only slightly jump. And it says, yeah. recent creature tokens and blah, blah, whenever one or more creature cards leave at your graveyard, create the zero one and put one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so, um, I don't have a legendary. We'll give you a uh, land. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, you one of your insidious roots. They land with a basic type. Yeah. That would be an overgrown tomb. Okay. Then I will... Because I didn't put any surveil lands in my deck. It'd be good fitting for them. Yeah. Sort of. I, I consider putting one specifically for that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. I feel like because you want things in your graveyard already, one or two might be good. At least a try, but... Um, I'll tell you why I didn't later. A lot of people, I know a lot of people don't like them, because really, they get the whole tap the thing about yeah. it, so... Um, why not? We're going to go ahead and tap two, and we're going to play a Soul Cauldron. And then... Oh, your deck. Don't like that. <laughs> pass the turn. Are you sure you don't want to remove my citrus supplier from my graveyard? I don't have the ability to eat it. Well, I guess I could, yeah. But I could do that in response to you wanting doing something else that's like reanimating it. Does it have an activated ability? No. See, if it had an activated ability, it'd be way more tempting. You have no cards, correct? Yeah, help it. Okay. I will play this guy from the adventure. Is yeah. Him? And I am going to cast Commune with the Gods. One of the top five cards of your library, you may put a creature or enchantment from one of them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. It's five. Okay. Uh, I'll put the Snarly guy. Well. Lands, what was the last one? Three lands and then one of the skeletons. Okay, skeleton. It, it well, you saved yourself from uh, flooding. And then I'll surveil one from him. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um. That's difficult. I think I will put it into the graveyard, though. Oh. And then... Uh, <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, your end step, that's just whenever a creature card leaves. Leaves your the grave. graveyard. Yours, specifically. Mine, yes. Yeah, your end step. I'm just going to tap my egg at the soul cauldron, put a one one counter on my cures follower, I'm going to exile a forensic researcher. So all my creatures now have tap, untap, no target permit you control, and tap, collect evidence three, tap target creature you don't control. All my, yeah, one one counters. So untap. Mm -hmm. I will 
Sure. Hey. Am I dead? No. <laughs> Not that good. Um. It just helps me get this down. So I'm gonna pay two, and I'm gonna play a river sneak. Uh, can't be blocked. Whenever one another merfolk enters the battlefield under my control, gets plus one plus one to under turn. I'm gonna go ahead and just put two counters onto my benthic biomancer. Uh, it will then go to combat and swing four. Do you have to mill yourself twice? Oh yeah, uh, no, it's a. Uh, Is it May? One of them all? No, yeah, I do. Okay, okay. so uh, island and a vault island hex catcher. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> that's one that I don't want to see. Ooh. All right, so combat. Yeah, combat. Uh, well, yeah, combat swing four. I will double duck. Okay. Um, they, they'll both die. Yeah, one more kind of punk control. If he's in your graveyard, you may put it. Uh, oh, they're both there, yeah, okay, yeah, so. All right, Biomancer trigger on Mosswood. Uh, yep. So I can cast him until the end of my next turn? Yep. Uh, he's as an adventure. As an adventure, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I will pass the turn. All right, draw. Uh, let's see. I can't quite kill you because of that stupid soul cauldron. But I can start by casting him. Yeah. Triggering the roots. Mm -hmm. So I will get a plant token. Well, I'll get a zero one plant token that comes into play. These will both trigger, the one one counter will go on. These <laughs> moss pit skeletons will both trigger. Yep. I will choose to put this one on the top of my library. Okay. And I will not choose to put this one on the top. So I'm not sure what you're going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and use Agatha's and... Mm -hmm. So the stack currently is two Surveil Triggers and then two Moss Pit Skeletons. You're going to get pretty much either way. I'm going to go ahead and hit the one you're trying to return to the top right. of the library. And then you'll get... That's still um, yep. going to trigger the that. Uh, so and I, as a creature, I'm going to put the 1-1 one -one counter on the Archive. river sneak. Yeah. But it's not aftermath. No. Or right. Machine and whatever the other one. Exactly and so, so trigger again. I have now four, I have two surveil triggers, mm -hmm. four surveil triggers, the plus one, plus one counter trigger. Yep. I would like to surveil once. Yep. Uh, this also, sorry, this leaving the graveyard will put another plant on this. Yeah, uh, until it's convoluted. <laughs> yeah. okay. But it's not infinite unless I have two and you've exiled one. Uh, okay. okay. So now I've got six surveil triggers on the stack to resolve still. So I'm definitely going to do one, two, three, four, six, and then I will. Pay two to return reassembling skeleton. Yeah. And then we'll do the whole song and dance again. Pay three. So I'll have two surveil triggers. Mm -hmm. okay. Return this. When he enters, I will return make back to your hand. A yep. new guy. Oh, yeah, it's hexproof. Never four. mind. I won't yeah. bounce it. He just enters. And then I'll have two more surveil triggers. So four total. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So there, one for sure. Um, so yeah. all the then let's pay two. Two cast. Three. Thalia's lieutenant. Yep. Move to combat. Yep. And then I play seven. one more Gore Hound. Okay. Trigger my pack leader's ability. Okay. Okay. I'll draw a card. Alright. Mm -hmm. two, oh, two. Yes, two, two triggers. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Get all these lawless rolls. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of Agonines, too. Alright. Up to you now. My turn? Yeah, I don't think I have any good attacks, right? I guess I... I don't know. Two uh, this no, is not a creature at the moment, so... Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Cause I realize I should have done this. I thought about this sooner. I'm going to tap 
and untap my Agathos oh, to tap my Agathos and exile Benthic Biomancer, putting a 1-1 one, one counter here. I'm going to tap uh, so this one because a Forensic power Researcher, to the number untap, of tap it again, control. exiling Whenever the Rebellion Hex Catcher. Uh, we'll put one another 1-1 one, one counter one here future. because uh, I, at this point, I guess there's a need to try to hit you face. Yes. Um, so I will now untap for turn. Uh, let's see if I can hit the Pilgrimage. Yeah. Not the Pilgrimage, but might be uh, potentially enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and pay two. Hexcatcher. Okay. Uh, triggers. Five. Angus plus one plus one himself. So, that is currently seven unblockable. Okay. Eight unblockable. Which I think is just enough with the copter. So I will crew the copter. Okay, that's 11. Is it 11? Oh, shoot, yeah, you're right. Would you like to exile a creature from my graveyard, maybe? I'm gonna exile your skeleton, <laughs> this one. I'm like, if it's gonna set you off a bit, but I don't think you can just go off and end the, turn, the game. Let's see what happens. I will make another plant. Yeah. And then our survival One counter goes times. here from Agatha's. I'll leave that on top. Okay. And I'll leave it on top again. All right. Would you like to tag me for twelve that I can't block? Yes. All Go right, to combat. I, I will die. Swing. <laughs> that was nifty. Ah, um, you made that graveyard hate pretty good against me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's. I, I was. Was. First, put this deck together after I played the first time. I turned around like. The secret, like, just in mainboard grave tech hate, uh, graveyard hate is so nice. Yeah, it's just randomly but, very good. Yeah, I honestly, I do forget about it most of the time. It's, I forget about it in the matchups it's important, and I remember it in the matchups it's not important. That being said, I do think I have some, I think that's fine. I need to get more of those. I need to take this out for that. <laughs> you effectively died if you didn't have the Soul Cauldron, though. That's the funny part. Yeah, because there would have yeah. been any number of plants. The yeah, the the other uh, like the big out was just hitting like soul culture was already there on the field, but hitting the pilgrimage because I just do the shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, I, do, I even have the tokens this week. Well, YouTube's kind of got to see what the deck does at least, you know. I'm sure this game will just smash me. We'll see. I mean, I yeah, I didn't hit my go piece but yeah it's kind of annoying that the two things that I want to do with my deck are just like slow the game down and block and do a graveyard thing and your deck is like I'm not good against either of those <laughs> like neither of those like, strategies line <laughs> up against your deck at all I'm like I'm gonna make my stuff unblockable and I'm gonna hit yeah. you for big amounts <laughs> like I have uh, main deck graveyard aid so you won't be doing any of that shenanigans I will alright let me see all these cards are so bad, it's so hard to figure out which ones to get rid of. I think I just wrote that for now. I think I'd get rid of all of these. I think this card is the worst card in the deck. Four, five, six. Pretty big mistake that game in my strategy. That I maybe should have considered sooner. By playing it out, or no, no, no. Uh, I think I think I should have just killed your your looter. The scooter or oh, the the biomancer? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I should have just killed it immediately. Instead That's fair. Of letting you like dig three cards for free. 
but I was worried about you playing lords that you never drew until the very end. <laughs> well, I mean, I hit one of them off of it because I, I milled it. That's true. You did it, one. It, I only drew once off of it. For a hopeful initiate. That's but fair. I drew once off of it, once off the copter, then I milled twice For off it. Which, again, attack? one of those things where I didn't think about, but secret, good secret attack, just like, oh, let me mill myself okay. accidentally. Uh, on a intentionally accidentally. One Yeah. You can attack this. I'll go first this time. Understandable. That also would have helped if I just yeah. won that stupid die roll. <laughs> Good luck. Move to too. combat and swing for six. The one thing I do like about this deck is if I have lands and spells, I generally will keep it. Mine's pretty similar in that mm. regard. I have land and spells. <laughs> I did say I needed an S next to the land, yeah, so I'll go ahead and mulligan. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It was both of my colors, but... Uh, it doesn't have the ability to tap for two, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, you could have had, if you had a, an elf, could have, uh, you know... Could have, there are no uh, elves. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, you, there are after and stays resist the field. There is a... That that's far too high on the good card ometer to have a land or else in this deck. Yeah, honestly, I, I probably would have built that that style of deck had it not been for the fact that Merfolk wasn't what my hmm. land deck was originally supposed to be. Interesting. Don't really like this that much, but I feel like I should. Well, I can't do that actually. I'll put this card on the bottom. I will thought easy. That's pretty good. I'll take Kevin of Swords. Two followers, Ceno Scout, and Cauldron. That's the explore dude. That's the put your counters on dudes. I'll just take the call then. Yeah, uh, honestly, between them, I'm like, anything, if it's... No, if it has, say unblockable and... It, the, the followers just helped me by putting them in the graveyard. Yeah. The elite was, would have been probably pretty solid pick. You can go. All right, I will draw for turn. Play a cavern as land for turn. Tap it for a green for a C-note scout, and we'll explore. Oh, tight shell pathway goes to him. And I will eight, pass 12, the turn. 13 points. So it's 15 coming at you. Oh, baby. So, yeah, if you block him, it'll be 11 for me. 17. Okay, I'll fill down the one. Yeah. Yeah. Go search him. Uh, and go ahead. Okay. Uh, I wish I could keep the land, honestly. I'll put a Mosswood Dread Knight into my hand. And then. Uh, I don't think you even read that card last game. No, I didn't. Yeah. Suppose characters may. Okay. Target point is good. Yeah. Um. To try to research. Okay. That's. Yes. Kicker is okay. Total seven cost. Yeah. I'm never, I'm never doing that. Yeah. So mostly it's just knowing that there's not a skeleton in there. Go ahead. All right. I will untap. Is that hand? Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I, no, 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 it puts it into play. It's, it's one of the best cards you've ever seen. I was like, oh man, my Cenos can't get through that. Uh, land for turn, we'll play the deep root with a green, and we'll swing one. Yeah, 16. And then we'll pass the turn. Uh, I will make you have a three color deck. Ooh, nifty. And then I will pay a life for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on adventure or no? You're. No, I'm casting. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> a. <laughs> that one's shocking. Okay. Six, seven, Land one waste does one damage when it's tapped for a color. Yep, yep. Not shocking. Sorry, pain. But. Yes. Ping. Your turn. All right. I will untap. Draw for turn. I will play a bark channel. I will tap Simic with a green for a. Yours follower. Play 1-1 one, one counter onto our C-Note Scout and go to combat, swing it in. Block. Take the train. I can cast the adventure until the end of my next turn. Uh, I will pass turn. 
I'm going to shock you to temporary. Interesting. I'll go to 18. So Very interesting. And that's what I'm So turn that to your back. All right, 14. And then I'll pass the turn. Uh, I'll tap the report in case you besiege it for some reason. I'm getting swamps from it. Such good value. Go ahead. All right. This is just in the graveyard. Untap. I will drop the turn. I will make your follower. Put a 1 1 counter on my other Cures follower. Yep. And we'll go to combat and we'll swing three. Block. Oh, you can just regenerate. Okay, yeah. Discard a creature. Put a 1 1 counter. Yeah. That's fair. I didn't regenerate. Yeah, you're good. All right. That's right. <laughs> like, you did never, you never okay. played against this card, I guess. No. That was, uh, Reckless Stormseeker. Really before me. Um, what was that from? Uh, that is from Value. Return to Ravnica. The first Return to Ravnica. The second Ravnica set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I started, I got, played through it to like, uh, 8th edition, then didn't come back to Kaladesh. Yeah, the same as Abrupt Decay. The same set. Okay. Uh, I will. Okay, I'll block right that. This is a three three. Yeah, so he'll die. I forgot about that for a second. One <laughs> black to cast minus three minus three side, yeah. and then I gain two life. And pass the turn. You saw twenty. Yeah. You have a lot of cards left in your hand, I don't like that. Got four in hand. I'll attack with three, two. Tramp. Uh, take three. All right. Go 17. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Draw. I could not be having a worse time. Uh, that's great news. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh. I guess, sorry. We'll go combat and swing to you. You have a blocker at the moment. Yeah. Like then we'll pass turn. 14 again. <laughs> what we're doing. We've got four lands. Attack for three. Go to 14. For hopeful initiative. I will pass turn. Okay. I will untap. I'm being greedy right Draw. now. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Go to combat. Swing two. What's going on? Twelve. I mean, you got some green green card. No, you can cast a green green card. You have only four drops in your hand. Pass turn. You have only counter spells in your hand. Uh. Yeah. That just. I always ahead and put my fourth land down. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, you have only lands here. <laughs> I'll discard a card to put a one one counter, yeah. and then this triggers the other one, but I'm not going to put it on top. Okay. Interesting. Uh, attack you for four. Take four. Go to ten. Move to combat. I'm going to cast this with the reanimate mode. For okay. Two or less. His trigger yes. to the experiment one. Crosswood. Yeah. Go ahead. And then I'll swing. Okay. Drop a turn. Hey. Four, seven. Uh, this okay. took some scryfall searching to <laughs> find. Uh, and then you have a 3 2. Yeah. I will pass turn. I, I don't know what's mm -hmm. in your hand anymore. I'll. Combat? Um, or six? No. No blocks. Okay. Damage. Right. You got four? Yeah. <laughs> Good Go ahead. I was like, uh, you're in step. 
it felt gonna so weird to bounce that two. dude. But Flash I was like, I need catcher. to keep you okay. off of being able to <laughs> untap again. Uh, well, yeah, because like, otherwise, if he, I was like, if he gets one more land, he can do the thing turn. again. And I was like, you, you got, got it. Lose. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, wa I uh, really wanted to pressure so there, and I was like, I this think the right play is, is to just a sideboard change I made. So that he I top deck this turn one. He has Every replay, other top deck this game besides land, that was yeah. a land. <laughs> oh, that was wild. All right. Well, that's one way this deck can win, I guess. Yeah, I kept a two. You saw my opening hand. I kept a two mana hand. Yeah. The other seven I drew. I'll be able to play. Very nice to get an undeserved third game. Very nice. <laughs> I got to show off the backup plan. Feet. <laughs> yeah. Play a regenerating trample creature that just owned in draft. Yep. Yeah. Good luck. You too. And spells this game. Ooh, dangerous. Good. I'm keeping you. All right. I will play an island. Pay one for my friend the Benthic Biomancer. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not this guy. Yeah. Here you go. You untie. Drop the turn. Like our, our game tend to go pretty close. <laughs> um, either I do my thing or you do your thing. You know? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and. Play a little different than like normal. I'm gonna play an island. Ooh. Pay two, and I'm gonna adapt it. Okay. And I will draw a card and discard a card. And mm -hmm. I will go ahead and discard. Let's discard the Pure's follower. Okay. Then go to combat. Attempt to swing two. I'm at 18, so not 12. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Top deck as I could have hit. I will go ahead and pay two life. It was a good top deck. <laughs> uh, and I will tap two for an elite. Yeah. And then swing two. Yep. Sixteen. Then pass her. Do that. Play this guy. Yeah. Say go. Okay. One tap. He doesn't have a Lord ability, except for his, tap his last five. one, yeah, tap five. So tap one, uh, tap another Merfolk other than him. He uh, can't be blocked. Tap three, untap Merfolk, any of them, draw a card. Tap five, untap Merfolk, uh, put a one more counter on each other Merfolk, uh, each Merfolk under control, sorry. Uh, when he ETPs, trigger, I'm gonna put the one, one counter on him. Mm. And then I will pass the turn. Excellent, excellent, just as planned. Not as planned, though. Sorry, so yeah. much text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was before they put paragraphs on every card. Um, how many cards do you have? Four in hand. All right. I will do the thing. Oh. 
I'm going to try and kill this because it's three okay. or less. Yeah, so in response, I will go ahead and tap three, untap Murphy by control, and draw a card. Yep. And then he gets blasted. Was it just destroy target creature with uh, yep. mana value three or less? Yeah, destroy target creature with converted mana cost three or less. Yeah. Cool, cool. <clears throat> and then I pass. All right. I will untap. Draw for turn. Oh man, this is. Thinker. He thunkin. I would really like to have untapped with him. Yeah, that's why I killed him. That that. I mean, no, no you could have killed him after I untapped. Uh, oh, <laughs> pardon me um, for being so rude and killing him with my sorcery on my turn. <laughs> we'll pay two. I, I will simply cheat on camera as I always do. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Um. There's another one in your deck. I'll play a look. Um, river sneak. No, not this guy. Yeah, I like him. Uh, but we're gonna put the one one counter here okay. because I would like to draw a card and then discard a Kior's follower. Okay. And then I get to play land for turn. Gavner souls. Would you like to name humans? Uh, no, I like to name Merfolk. Okay. Um, if you don't want warrior. Those are both warriors. Yeah, but he's a wizard mutant, oh, okay. so it kind of falls off there. I mean, he's a shaman. Um, as much as I would like to let you, I'm going to pay two and let you get a land and blood in city's roots. Don't like that. Yeah, that's why I wanted the... It's exile? It's destroyed. It's destroyed. Okay. Yep. Yeah, see, if Kumano was on the field, that costed one less. I didn't need to hit the land. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. But he's still a 3-2 that you get to cast the next turn if I attack into you, so... Yeah, it draws I'm... me a card, and now I can recast him as another Edict. Seems like not a bad set of characteristics to have. Yeah, um, but no, yeah, I'm gonna pass the turn. Interesting. Very interesting. You don't have a way to stop another roots right now, so I'll go looking for it. Three. Ooh. Ooh. It's tough. I mean, we've got the okay, we've got enchantment and creature. Yeah. Talk about great deck building. I can find a removal spell out of commune with the gods. I'm gonna take the removal spell. Yeah. I forgot I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill. The sneak? Yeah. Go cool, cool. The unblockable boy. Yep. Your turn. I will untap. Draw for turn. That's cool. That's super cool. Don't like that. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and... I'm running out of removal spells in my deck. You need to stop. You need them now. <laughs> We're gonna pay two colorless for a soul cauldron, and we're gonna pay two for a deep root pilgrimage. You were one more non-token merfolk you control become tapped, created one one bro. Okay, yeah, this is the guy that makes you draw your whole deck. So we're gonna go ahead and um, exile a QRS follower on my graveyard, putting a one one counter onto my deep root elite. Yep. So now my. Uh, Benthic Biomancer and my Deep Ruli have this wonderful ability where they both can untap each other. Go untap. I uh, feel real dumb. Targeting right him. Mm -hmm. Then in response, untap him. So the whole thing is going to trigger this each individually untapping and tapping, and also triggering Murfolk to enter the battlefield for this. Effectively, just for the sake of numbers, I found a nice, fun little round number to be about 10,000. We're making 10,000 Murfolk and putting. Um, we're actually going to put the first. Like, yeah, just for the sake of it, <laughs> six 1-1 one, one counters onto <laughs> him. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put the next, what's a safe number? I'm tapped out. I know. I don't know if you can mill me. <laughs> um, actually, we don't have to do it right now. So we'll end that loop with um, them untapped. And we'll put the 1-1 one, one counters onto 
all but... Is there a situation where they're both untapped at the end of this? Yes, because so when I tap them both, they both have triggers on the stack to untap each other. Sure, okay. And so then I let them resolve and they untap. Um, okay, it doesn't matter this one. Okay, sorry. Oh, I guess, oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. We're gonna resolve. I have one blocker, yes, so I I'm needed to resolve, know if both yeah, of them no, can no, attack and kill me. 20 on, we'll, we'll resolve 21 counters on there, 20 counters on here. We'll effectively so mill 20. the top 20. One, two, three, and four, five, best, what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah. I don't need to because the card I would need is in my hand already. <laughs> but he told me to put this in last week, uh, two weeks ago. Um, go to combat. No, I'm just showing YouTube oh, how you stupid know. I am right now. Oh, <laughs> go yeah. to combat and we'll swing the like forty, the uh, twenty twenty that I have. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll block this yeah, yeah. one. Sounds good. <laughs> and I'll go to uh, very many negatives. So I, I tear sunder in my hand. Oh! <laughs> you, you told me too, oh, so this, to make sure I put, been... I put a Thassa's Oracle in the deck. And that's what I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have this prepped so if I untap, I can kill him with either the tokens, or if he has something weird, I can just Thassa's Oracle myself and win. Because mm -hmm. that would just be fun, funny, or not. Thank you, YouTube. 